Welcome to our webinar, Why Professional Teams Choose Jira and Bitbucket. So in this next section, I'm going to talk about automatic issue transitions. Now these allow you to bind Bitbucket repository events to the Jira workflow engine. This means that you no longer have to rely on developers keeping issues up to date. Bitbucket monitors their project and automatically notifies Jira when issues should change state. Let me illustrate why this is a game-changing feature for both developers and their teams. If you're an agile development shop, you might be familiar with a tool called a burndown chart. It's a visual aid that helps you determine whether you'll finish a sprint on time or not. The y-axis represents how much work is left in the sprint. Usually this is measured in the number of story points remaining on your unfinished issues. The x-axis represents how much time you have left in the sprint to complete all of those story points. The gray dotted line shows the ideal burn down rate, or how many story points should be left at a particular point in time to ensure that all stories are finished at the end of the sprint. You want to make sure that your actual burn down rate isn't too far north of this line, or you're likely not to complete the sprint in time. Now, if your developers are hitting their expected velocity and regularly closing off their stories, your burn down line should hopefully look something like this. If you're a team lead or a product manager and your burn down chart looks like this, then you'd be in a good mood because it means you'll probably finish the sprint on time. However, bizarrely, it can often look like this. Or this. Or if you're really unlucky, it can look like this. Now this doesn't mean that your developers are sitting idle and not writing code. In fact, usually a sprint like this means your developers are working exceptionally hard. So hard, in fact, that they forgot to update Jira in between committing large volumes of code. To explain this phenomenon, let's look at a typical engineer's day. If you're using Bitbucket to host your code and Jira to track your issues, your engineer will spend a good amount of their day writing code updating issues, and reviewing their code changes in Bitbucket. Since we're talking about developers, let's use a sequence diagram to model their interactions with Bitbucket and Jira software. When a developer starts work on a new issue, they might start by writing some code and pushing it to Bitbucket. Then they might go and transition that issue into the in-progress state to show that they've started work. Then once Bamboo or whatever continuous integration server they're using has picked up their code and run the tests, they'll go and fix whatever tests have broken. After that, they'll create a pull request to get their changes into master, and they'll go and update the, their issue to be in the in review state. Then once some developers have raised some feedback, they'll go and address that feedback and push some more changes to Bitbucket, and finally merge the pull request into the master branch so it's ready to ship. After that, they'll likely go and resolve the issue in Jira. Now, as you get closer and closer to release time, your engineer gets more and more stressed. And then at some point, they might have to evaluate how they're gonna try and squeeze some more time out of their day to write more code. So when they look at this set of activities, typically an engineer will categorize the actual writing of code as the important stuff and the updating of the issue tracker as busy work. And so when push comes to shove, they may end up forgetting to update Jira software. Now, as an engineer's day becomes a couple of weeks towards the end of the sprint, that's when you can start seeing burn down phenomenon like this. So automatic issue transitions solve this problem by letting Bitbucket update your Jira issues for you. So when a developer creates a new branch inside their Bitbucket repository, Bitbucket posts that information to Jira and that triggers an issue transition from the open state into the in-progress state automatically. Then when the developer creates a pull request to merge that branch back into master, Jira automatically transitions that same issue into the in-review state. And then finally, when that pull request is merged, Jira automatically transitions the issue into the done state, and the issue is resolved. So in this workflow, the developer literally only has to assign the issue to themselves, and from then on, they can work inside of Bitbucket. And Bitbucket handles all of the keeping up-to-date of Jira issues by itself. 
And this is just an example workflow that I've shown you. Issue transitions have been built as a generic JIRA workflow trigger that you can bind to any issue transition in your existing JIRA workflow. And you can create triggers that fire when a pull request is created, merged, declined, or reopened, as well as when a branch is created or even when an individual commit is created. So automatic issue transitions are great for everybody. Our product managers and team leads are happy because issues are kept up to date automatically, and our burn down chart for the sprint is burning down correctly. And our developers are happy too, because they can focus on development and not have to worry about wasting time manually updating JIRA issues. So that's pretty cool. But now let's look at some of the really exciting stuff that JIRA and Bitbucket has to offer. But before we dig into what's coming next, let's quickly recap what we've seen so far. You can view your issues in Bitbucket and your code in JIRA providing a wealth of information without you having to leave your current context. If you're using an issue branching workflow, you can also see all the branches, pull requests, builds, and deployments, all from your JIRA issue or JIRA software board. Plus, to make branching per issue even easier, you can create branches directly from JIRA, which has the added benefit of guaranteeing that your branch is created from a stable commit with a green build. And finally, as we've just seen, you can automatically transition issues based on Bitbucket events, saving your developers time and giving your team leads and product managers a more accurate view of the project state. But where do we go from here? Well, our team of hardcore integration developers, nicknamed the Fusion Team at Atlassian, started looking at the other parts of the development process that currently cause us a lot of pain. The issue branching and integrations between Bitbucket and Jira that I've shown you so far solved a lot of the development problems that we see during typical feature development and sprints. But there's still one part of the development process that could do with a bit of love. And that, my friends, is the release process. At some point after a series of sprints, you're going to have to pick a commit you're actually going to kick out the door and ship to your customers. And picking that commit and making sure that everything is correct can actually be a pretty tricky process. Thank you for watching why professional teams choose Jira and Bitbucket. If you want to try Jira software and or Bitbucket for free, click the learn more button on the left. To see how to connect Jira software and Bitbucket, click the video at the top right of your screen. To continue on to the next chapter in this webinar, click the see what's next button on the bottom right of your screen. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.